Welcome to the Quosa Information Manager video tutorial series. This short video will show you how to view and edit the metadata associated with your articles in Quosa Information Manager. Each article archived in Quosa Information Manager is associated with a set of metadata, including citation information that comes with the article during retrieval, and user applied properties and annotations. All metadata are fully searchable with the Search in Results tool in Quosa Information Manager. See another video or the user manual for full details. A few selected metadata fields are displayed in the results pane for each article, such as author and title. Articles can be sorted accordingly by clicking on the column header. Columns can be rearranged by drag and drop. To view all metadata associated with an article and edit them if needed, right-click on the article in the results pane and select Edit Properties. The metadata are divided into two categories, Properties and Annotations. Click on the tab to access the respective category. Properties include several types of fields. All records have a standard set of citation fields, which are automatically populated with information from the channel during the retrieval of the article. These include fields such as title, abstract, author, journal, year, etc. If your institution uses a custom Quosa installation, you may also see additional fields that are specifically relevant to your institution. These may include custom properties fields with drop-down lists, date ranges, checkboxes, etc. To edit any of the field values, either type them directly into the field box, or if there is an Edit button on the right of the field, click on the Edit button and enter the information in the dialog that opens. Articles retrieved by Quosa Information Manager will have all the citation data that were provided by the channel at the time of retrieval. Manual editing of the citation information will typically not be necessary. When you import your own articles, Quosa Information Manager will look for the citation information automatically. If found, all citation fields will be automatically populated. If matching citation information is not found, you may add it manually. Quosa makes this easy. Look up the PubMed ID in PubMed, or the DOI sometimes printed on the article. Add the PubMed ID or the DOI into their respective fields and click the Resolve button on the right. Quosa fills in the rest of the fields. The other category of metadata is Annotations. Click on the Annotations tab to see the annotation fields. Annotations are added by you, the user. They include fields such as project and description. These fields may be customized for your institution as well. To add annotations, simply type into the relevant field or choose a relevancy rating and click OK. The annotation will receive your name and a timestamp. Articles that were annotated are labeled with a small paperclip icon in the results pane. Click on it to review the annotation information. Again, all metadata are fully searchable with the Search in Results tool in Quosa Information Manager. See another video or the user manual for full details. Note for Quosa Virtual Library users. There is an important difference between properties and annotations. If you store the same article in multiple VL folders within the same VL library, the properties information will be the same for all copies of that article. If you change any of the properties field values, the change will be applied to all other instances of the record in the same VL library. This is not the case for annotations. Annotation by various users will be listed separately and be labeled with the user's name and timestamp. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos on our website or the Quosa YouTube channel. Detailed instructions about all topics are available in the User Manual and Web Help in the Help menu of Quosa. For sales-related questions, contact sales at quosa.com.
For technical questions, contact support at quosa.com.